Well, that that is what the pay-as-you-throw is, in effect, doing. I mean, you're usually paying volume based on the size of your um, disposal container. So the larger container, um, you get charged more. The smaller container, I think at one time they actually, um, and Samantha might know from her research, they actually tried to do it based on weight. Um, but I, I think that was uh, so much more complex to individually individualize it to that extent that I, I think most um, municipalities have simplified it by the size of the containers. Yeah, I, I'm not aware of any um, any that have done it by weight, although, I, yeah, I would imagine that would be hard to do because you to weigh every collection at the truck level is a big job. I in in I in a little bit of research I've done about the UK um, where they have um, as part of being in the EU they have a landfill directive in which they get um, they <coughs> localities get taxed uh, for every ton that goes to landfill. Um, what they do is redistribute um, the the money that they would be paying in taxes to support community-based alternative forms of diversion. So when I was over there, there was a program that was being run in what would be their equivalent of public housing. And um, it was kind of an on-site program to collect recyclables and source separated organics um, that, was, um, that was operating right on site in the public housing. And they were getting, uh, on a per ton basis, kind of a refund from uh, the government um, in proportion to the amount of landfill tax they were saving. So that would be a different way if we had such a thing in the United States, which we don't, um, of maybe redistributing costs for landfilling. 